Hey guys, welcome to this Ohio Farmhouse. I'm Jenna. If you're ready to ditch the chemicals, but you just don't know where to start, I'm here to walk you through the top five areas where you need to start concentrating and putting a little bit of energy into figuring out what you can get rid of to make your home a much cleaner and natural environment. So I'm excited that you're thinking about making the switch to more natural products and that you're considering ditching all the chemicals in your life. God tells us that our body is a temple and so while we think more regularly about ditching the things that are maybe hurtful or potent to our bodies, we don't often think about the things that we're putting onto our skin through our lotions and cosmetics and our laundry detergents and cleaning products and all of that stuff and how it just absorbs into our bloodstream and impacts our body in a negative way. So I'm excited that you're looking and considering going on to this journey. This is something that we started years and years ago and we still are switching over things and making our homes a more clean and natural place for us to live. Probably the simplest and the easiest transition to make is your laundry detergent. And I think that it's probably the most important switch to make because it's on your clothing that's touching your skin all day long, every single day. Now, if you don't put much thought into it, it's not a big deal, but if you think your skin is an organ and it's absorbing all of those chemicals directly into your bloodstream 24 hours a day, it becomes a monumental deal to get that one switched over and do it quickly. Those chemicals are creating endocrine disruptors and all kinds of nasty issues with thyroid and all kinds of things that just the list goes on and on. That's a really simple place to start because it's one thing. You're gonna go to the store and you're gonna start looking at some natural ingredients. You may need to give a couple of things a try. I really enjoy, in our home, we use a lot of Charlie's soaps that um, they make a powder and a liquid detergent. Um, I've really enjoyed using Norwex laundry detergent, their um, powder, you use a very little bit, so it seems expensive, but you use such a tiny amount that the bag lasts a really long time. There are several others that we've used over the years. We've used some seventh generation and things, but a lot of these companies now have kind of sold out to other companies that I'm not such a big fan of, and so I'm trying to be mindful of that aspect of it as well. But laundry detergent is a really simple one, so start there. So the second thing, if we're worried about what's on our skin, we definitely need to be worried about what's going into our bodies. So start reading food labels. Stick to things that you can pronounce and you know what they are. So if you're looking at an ingredient list and it's this long, filled with things that you can't pronounce, steer clear. It's pretty easy to look at something and you'll be able to tell very quickly what is made with like whole food ingredients or natural things at least, even if they're processed. Um, but try to stick to things that are like five or six ingredients or less. If you've got a whole list, it's typically filled with preservatives, food colorings, and all kinds of things that just are nasty for your bodies. The other thing to consider is what you're storing your food in. So steer clear of plastic containers and Tupperware. You wanna switch over to using glass. Um, stainless steel is okay, but switch over to something that's not going to be leaching into your food. The same thing goes for your cooking methods. I know that it's gotten really popular over the years to like pick up the vegetables that you cook right in the bag in the microwave or you pick up um, like the liners that you put inside of your crock pot that's just like a plastic liner. Just beware of using some of those things because you will be leaching the plastics and all of the chemicals that are made in those products right into your food and then you're gonna be ingesting it. So just so the third thing that you wanna switch over is your cleaning products. When you are spraying down things, all of those chemicals are filling in your room and your spaces that you're cooking. So you really wanna switch over to things that are naturally created and not going to be harmful to you. 
Um, it's very simple to make your own. Just by picking up some like vinegar and baking soda and a couple of essential oils, you can get a lot of cleaning power done with just those things. Um, Norwex is another one that I definitely keep on hand because you can clean without the use of chemicals, just with their rags because they're infused with silver. Um, but Norwex isn't the only company on the market that does that. There's a couple others as well. Um, some of them we can actually pick up pretty readily in our community without having to go through a representative and order them. So, so you're not necessarily stuck having to order things that take a long time. But start thinking through you know, what am I spraying on my countertops? Because that's a really simple one to switch over. Um, if you don't feel like making your cleaners yourself, there are some cleaner ingredients in some of the store-bought cleaners as well. So you should be able to pick up some things that will say on them, you wanna look for things that are made with essential oils instead of fragrance. Fragrance is kind of a across the board no-no when it comes to cosmetics and um, cleaning products and all the things. You don't want fragrance in that. Also, if you're going to make your own, it's pretty important that you pick up some glass spray bottles that you're going to keep those in. Um, essential oils will break down plastic sometimes depending on the quality of the plastic. And so it's easier to just switch over to using a glass spray bottle. And there's several of those available even just on Amazon. Um, Grove Collective has some really pretty ones that have like colored bases to them. So there's a lot on the market now that you can pick up. The next thing that you need to consider is your air quality. What are the things that you're putting into the air that are toxic to the environment? You're probably using things like Febreze or candles or air fresheners in your bathrooms. Those are all things that are filled with fragrance and chemicals and things that are just horrible for your body to breathe in. So really you wanna consider switching to using candles that are made with beeswax or sometimes soy, um, but definitely using essential oils. You don't want to have fragrance in your candles because it is carcinogenic. So switch out your candles, pick up a diffuser. You can grab one on, off of Amazon or even uh, like TJ Maxx carries a lot of them. I prefer buying them off of Amazon just because I can read the reviews and see what kind of quality and how much they're going to produce because I really like my diffusers to pump it out. I don't really like the little weak ones that don't do much. So if you're gonna grab a diffuser, you definitely wanna start out with four essential oils. I've kind of narrowed it down to like, what are, if I only could have four oils, what would they be? Lavender, because it's awesome for helping you sleep. It fills the air, it makes it smell good, it's great for healing for wounds, burns, all kinds of things related to injury. The second oil that you should definitely get is lemon and that's because its cleaning power is magnificent. It is great for making your own cleaning products. You can do all the things with lemon. You can diffuse it into the air to clean it and make it smell fresh. Lemon is definitely a go-to around here. The next thing you definitely are two that are kind of for your health and wellness, but on Guard and Breathe are two that are must-haves in my book. Um, on Guard helps boost your immune system, fight off germs. It's an antiseptic. You can do cleaning products with that. That's what I spray down all of my counters with. If anybody's sick, I'm wiping down door handles and sink faucets and toilets and all the things with On Guard to just disinfect and clean. Breathe is the essential oil that's great for helping you breathe. Like if you're sick and congested, you're gonna put that in the diffuser and breathe that in all night. And rather than putting like Vicks on your chest, this is breathing healthy things into the air. So definitely grab yourself a diffuser and start thinking about your air quality. Something else that's really important, I think is adding house plants. Now I'm not the best at keeping house plants alive, but there are definitely some that are easier to take care of and don't require nearly as much maintenance. So start looking at the air quality of plants and how they are able to clean your air. Um, and maybe some that are a little bit lower on the maintenance side if you're not so great with plants and don't have a green thumb. Okay, the fifth thing is medicines. And this seems like the trickiest one only because there's such a vast array of things that you can switch over to. The very easiest is to start thinking through like if you're ha you have a kid that's sick and you need to pick up cough medicine, 
is there a cleaner alternative to cough medicine? And there are lots of them on the market and they are right in the store, right next to where you're gonna pick up your decongestant. They have Highlands and other brands that are much more natural. They're made with honey and homeopathy, things that are not man-made. Other things that are easy to switch over are like if you're gonna treat a rash, rather than going to the store and picking up some ointment or cream, stick to coconut oil and some lavender and you will be able to clean up almost any rash that's gonna show up on your kids. Um, it's very simple to make some switches like that. When you start getting into a little bit more complex stuff, I have a homeopathy video that I explained a little bit more in depth how homeopathy works. Um, essential oils are a little bit similar in that you're just kind of trying to find the right remedy that works for specific things. So when you start talking about like I've got chronic migraines or I get headaches all the time or um, you know something more serious like I've got thyroid issues or I was diagnosed at one point with Hashimoto's and was trying to treat that myself. Um, those things get a little bit more complicated. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have and I can direct you to some sources that might be able to help you with that. But really for medicine, I would start out by grabbing the lavender, the On Guard, and the Breathe. And those are going to take care of a big majority of the ailments and illnesses that you're going to deal with, especially if you're a parent. Now, if you really wanna learn a lot, there are some really great Facebook groups available that can teach you. It's one of the main reasons that I'm on Facebook. It's because I'm learning constantly from all of these other moms and homeopaths and people in these groups. So I'll link a couple of my favorites down in the description below if you would like to join some of those. Um, one of my favorites is just like, uh, I think it's called the Crunchy and Kind Mama. And really that's just kind of an overall encompassing like clean product place to be. And so people discuss all kinds of things from like cleaning products to medicines to all the things natural. So it's just kind of a place where you can go and learn from other people, ask questions, read forums and people's questions from the past. It's just a really great resource for learning some of those different things. So really those are my top five things that I think you should really start considering switching over. Don't try to do it all at one time. My goodness, it could cost you a fortune to throw everything out all at once and just start all over. If you have the means to do that, go for it. <laughs> you, can, you can just ditch everything and start completely over. But if you just start replacing products as you're running out of them or just you know every month you're like, I've got this much money budgeted for switching my products over. What's the most important this month? So, or instead of like grabbing the normal cough medicine off the shelf, grab the stuff that's more natural next time. Just slowly start making the transition to cleaner products. I'm excited that you guys are considering making the switch to more natural products and really thinking about how these things impact your family and your home and your health. So I really encourage you to just get started slowly and start making those little baby steps. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time on This Ohio Farmhouse.